ocean I'm in the sunshine state of mind I want this feeling forever You are the summer of my life I'll be bigger than the ocean I'm in the sunshine state of mind I want this feeling forever You are the summer of my life awesome video here on Soccer City Cartoons. So today's video is basically going to be about soccer training. Now these are some of the things that you might do to get on a team. This is basically some practice routines or something that you have to do to basically get on the team to see if the coach you know will approve to see if these things um, are good. So obviously when I do these drills, it's not going to be as good as the original people do it that are already on soccer teams or that are like the professionals or something. So, yeah. But um, I'm not going to do it as good because, of course, I have a sprained ankle. Um, but it's not it's not that good to do this while you have like a sprained or fractured um, bone in your body, in your legs. So, just got to be careful. Just got to do the easy drill, basically. But all of them are easy, right? So... Yeah, let's get started. Before we actually start doing the drills, I just want to say it's not going to be done indoors. It's going to be done outdoors with a Nike ball size 4. Now, when I ordered this Nike ball, it was supposed to be in a size 5. So, of course, sporting goods messed up the sizes. But, you know, I can't complain. It's just going to be a training ball. It's not what you're actually going to play with in an actual game. If you choose to play with it in an actual game, that's totally up to you. But I did not play with an actual game because I'm so used to a size 5. So basically I'm going to start off with a couple of easy drills and see if I can do the hard drills. Now, I do not have any grass in my backyard. I have concrete and then I have dirt. So I either do it on concrete or dirt. So I think I might do it just on concrete because I think it will be a lot easier since I have the boot on. Because if I do it in dirt, then I'll just get my boot all dirty. So easier for both of us, huh? So no, I do not have any shoes on to actually do these drills. So I have no shoes on there, and I only have my boot on here. So this might be a little difficult just because the boot takes on extra inches than this foot, so all of my pressure is going on this foot. So yeah, so I might not do them as better. So basically this first drill is um, I found off of YouTube, and that's actually a very good um, drilling exercise. So yeah, it's going to be actually um, pretty fun. It's super easy, too. I mean... Actually, it's kind of difficult at first when you start it. So yeah, let's get doing the first drill. Okay, so drill position. Now, this looks super bad since I have a boot on, but I'm just going to have to deal with it because I haven't made a video in a long time, and I would feel very bad. So yeah. So basically, position. So you put this foot right there, this foot right there. Now, this is going to be completely difficult because this takes on extra inches. This boot right here, it has extra padding inside of it. So basically what you would want to do, I found this off of YouTube by the way, I think I already said that, but basically you would do this back and forth, you would just, ugh, it's windy, no it can't be windy, um, that's when things go wrong when it's windy, but I don't think it's going to get bad, so basically you would want to do it back and forth, you just want to do this back and forth, obviously I'm not going to do it that good, but basically, with this foot and this foot, you would just want to do that back and forth, and you would want to keep them um, just in between as much as you can. Um, so when you, um, basically your, pe your um, coach is going to set out some cones. Basically, you would have to get the ball through those cones as uh, perfect as possible. Now, this is a good exercise because that's for that. So to um, totally, like, juke out people and stuff, you would want to do that. So basically, you'll... Back and forth, just like that. Oh, that's some pain right there. But you would want to keep it in between, so you wouldn't want to move it as much. But then when it gets, like, easier for you to do that, then you would want to move it as much. So I've been doing that for a really long time. Nike, sponsor me. I wish that would happen. So basically, you would want to do that. A bee is attacking me right now. So basically you'd want to do that, I showed you the position, I showed you a little bit of the drill. Of course I can't do it as good because of the boot, but that's okay as long as I'm making a video. I'm happy, everybody's happy, you know. K 
Okay, so this is a passing drill. So basically, if you're at home and you have like a sidewalk or a fence or like a brick wall or anything, so the curb that is right there, you basically want to kick the ball against it and do it with your side foot and just do that back and forth against the wall. That really helps with passing. So you just want to do that. This hurts extremely bad. Do it for you too. So basically you'd want to pass it back and forth and back and forth and it would help your passing a lot. Um, and the last drill that I did, um, it was basically a um, tackling drill. So, yeah. By the way, guys, I'm only going to do about five drills because I don't want to hurt my ankle too much because it's already starting to hurt. So probably after this, I'm probably going to ice it a lot. But there will probably be more drills in the future, I promise. So this is going to be just like the other drill, except you would probably need a partner for this. So basically, just like you did with the other one, so basically you would just pass it against a wall or something, and then you would grab it, just like that. So I don't know specifically what this is called. I know it is definitely used, though. So just kick it as hard as you can against the wall, and then grab it. Kick it. Grab it. So, ugh. Another good tip to actually trick um, the, the opponent that you're playing against that's trying to take the ball from you, you put it behind your leg, like this is going to be a slow position, so you put it behind your leg with your heel, and then you kick it there, and then with this foot you grab it back. So I didn't do it as well, and that was probably super difficult because I didn't explain it that well, but it was super difficult for me to do because of this thing, of course, but hopefully I explained it and did it very well. Hopefully you understand. This is drill number three. So, so this was basically like the first drill. So basically you would have to turn back and go like that again. This is completely hard because this foot is just dead. Okay, get the ball, get the ball, get the ball. Alright. Alright, so you would... Basically, you would boom, 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 and then drag it back again. Boom, boom, boom. Ugh. So basically, in the position like this, then you would step back, use whatever foot that you most like to use. You go back, and then you get in that position again, and then you go boom. Oh crap. You go boom, 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 boom. I actually did that one right. So yeah, that was probably confusing because I couldn't do that as well because this is the foot that I love to use in soccer, but it's dead. So yeah, this is soccer drill number four. I'm hoping it's number four. So this soccer drill is really easy, which I could probably do. So you basically just drag it back, pass it to that foot, put it over, do that again. Boom. To the other foot, boom. Put it up front, boom. Or here's another way of doing it. Boom, boom, boom. It tricks the person that's against you, trying to get the ball from you. So basically, boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. So that is number four. We are on number five now. So yes, guys, we are on soccer drill number five. This is going to be the last one for today. I can only do five because of my ankle. I would love to do ten or twenty for you, but I can't because of my ankle. This is no excuse. This is true. Because you have seen how hard I've been struggling to do a lot of these drills, but yeah. So I'm hoping this next drill is actually worth it. So basically, this is going to be the last drill. It's the fifth drill. So basically, what you would want to do... Ugh, I'm going to fall. I'm going to fall. I'm going to fall. Okay, I'm just going to do it with my other foot. I don't like doing it with my other foot, but I'm sure this is going to be a lot better than my other one. Okay, so... Uh, basically, you would put this leg... You put the ball behind that leg. Boom. Swing it around. And I have to get it. Okay, so I did that a very bad way. I'm doing all of these extremely bad. 
but I'm really hoping that this helps you guys if you're um, wanting to join a soccer team or if you need some help with your drills or you know something like that so I'm gonna try it again I'm going to try to try it again okay Oop. so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna put this behind your leg and then your other foot would get it so it would go around your leg and then your other foot would get it so basically Whatever leg you like, right or left. I like my left, but obviously my left is totally trashed. So I'm going to do it one more time. Boom. Scroll behind. Or you could like do a little trick. Like pretend it's behind there. Then reach it back up. Kind of trick the players. Alright, one more time. Boom. And boom. Alright, so basically the positioning for this... Ooh, okay. So let me show you the positioning. So the positioning for that trick that I just showed you it was very difficult to see. But um, so you put your right or left foot on top of the ball. You drag it backwards. You would go like that, and then you would get it with your other leg. So I'm hoping that that wasn't too difficult. It probably was because it was in a very bad angle. But I'm glad I'm showing it to you now, so maybe you can see it in a better angle. I'm hoping. <laughs> right. And then, this is like a little hack to kind of like trick your opponent that's trying to get the ball from you. You could pretend you put it back, and just move it front, and then, yeah.